Hey, welcome back to Coffee Time with Trevor. I'm finally recording on Sunday. I'm on schedule again. Instead of having coffee, I have an energy drink, but whatever. A little more unhealthy. A lot more unhealthy. But anyways, so what I've done this week is, um, well, the website's been down. The website's been uploaded. Um, I mean, minor adjustments, but nothing, nothing worth, worth even looking at. But... Um, one thing I did do is yeah, I messaged a lot of businesses. I messaged a lot of businesses. I don't think this week I called anybody. But uh, I think, okay, so I messaged around like 50 businesses. Um, none of them got back to me. Well, they got back to me, but none of them went through with it. I had one very nice guy who I was feeling in a groove. I messaged him, and then it, um, he, like, replied. He said, listen, I would do it, but I already have a website in beta, which that was that was some motivation, I will say. And then um, I had a few other I messaged, and a few businesses just said, uh, we're not interested, blah, 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 blah. And, um, yeah, so I don't know. It's um, it's been hard like just to persist. I don't know what to, cause I don't do. I just keep messaging. I mean, I had one promising message, but the rest have been just feels like like Elon Musk says staring, eating glass and staring into the abyss. Feels like that. It feels like I'm just doing nothing, and um, and it hurts to do nothing. So, um, it's been hard to persist but i mean that's it this is there's not a lot to update because a lot of it's just been outreaching i could show you my outreaches but just been a simple dm like hey my name is trevor i live in the local area near your restaurant i was wondering if you'd be interested in uh and i got some website design um i'm building a portfolio right now so it'd be completely for free um with no charge at all uh say something like like um, um, if you want to check out some of my web designs or something like that go to mhoffmedia.com and that's kind of it I mean it's just been simple with stuff like that and I sent that to about probably 50 places this week and I guess the answer is well the answer is I found it so I found a new strat that I like which worked with that one guy who reapplied and said he would do it if I can find the owner's email that is like a huge plus. That is a huge benefit because, um, I mean, the direct contact with the owner is going to make it way more likely to go through. Because when I'm calling a place, first of all, the owners are never there. Second of all, managers are generally assholes. Third of all, like, um, it's just hard. And I feel like having a younger voice almost it definitely makes it worse, I think. And it's just awkward when I'm like, hey, is the owner manager in right now? And it would be like some young person, usually a young person working the counter, would be like, yeah, let me go get them. And then they'll be like, uh, and then they'll tell their man, they'll leave a bad impression for me because they, of course, they, why wouldn't they? <laughs> and they'll be like, yo, manager. Or they'll be like, yo, Kathy, yo, Kathy, someone said they wanted you. Or like, just say, like, leave such a bad impression. Like, just fucking dicks. But anyways, um, that's what's going on. I don't know. I wish there was a better strategy, but I think it's just going to be messaging and staring at the abyss and messaging. Could be worse.